This problem here is one pretty typical of the sorts of things you'll see in the linear equations chapter. Um, it doesn't mention equations this chapter, this particular problem, but we're going to have a little look at them anyway. The first thing to do in a problem like this is to just try and absorb what we're talking about. Here we have a situation where a person pays $30 per month as a service fee for, the, for their phone, and then there's a call cost, which is $0.17 cents each. So those two points we need to take out first of all. It's a linear problem because while we start off with a certain amount, $30, we're only going to increase by this exact same amount. Every time you make a call, it'll go up by 17.5 cents, and that doesn't change. So because you have got a rate that's increasing at a set amount, a constant number, that's what makes this a linear equation. In the first part, we're asked to calculate this cost here. Now we've suddenly introduced this variable y. Uh, what would that be? It tells you straight off here if, if y is the cost of the local calls. And we have to make up uh, a, uh, a table from that, construct table values. This is something I really hate doing, which is why I showed you the other way. But then we have to make up this table and for the billing of 10 particular calls. So, And there's our other variable there, x local calls a month. So what we've got is a situation with two variables, y equals the cost, and it's always important to remember what's our unit, it's in dollars. Now that really matters because this amount here is not in dollars, it's in cents. So of course what that equals, and we need to remember this for later, is 17.5 cents is 0.175 dollars. That's really important because we'll muck it up if we talk about dollars, 30 dollars per month, here 17.5 cents, two different units. So we've now converted it to one unit. We'll always be working in dollars. After all, that's what we pay. That's what we pay the bills. Um, so here, that's the. We've now set up our equation. So we're asked to construct this table of values for up to 10 calls, uh, multiples rather of 10 calls. So that's what the situation here is, or this is the solution that they've put in here for you. So here we've got the number of local calls. It goes up by 10 because that's what you're asked for, multiples of 10. So it goes from 0 to 10 to 20, 30, 40, 50. Then we have here the cost in dollars calculated, not using any formula or anything, but just simply by working it out. So here you've got $30 for zero calls, and that's... Uh, as it was because we've got $30 per month as a service fee so if you make no calls it'll cost you $30. Then in multiples of 10 what do we go up by? Well one cost, one call rather costs 17.5 cents or this many dollars so we need to say well how much is 10? Well 10 calls from that we've got 10 calls and that will equal 10 times that amount. How much is that? Well, it's cal calculated uh, out to be $1.75. I know that because I'm a math teacher. There you go. So here, $1.75 is added on for every 10 calls. So that's where we've gone 30, $1.75 more, $1.75 more for 10 more, and so on. So there's your table. And while you'll come across this in, um, in uh, uh, exam questions and things like this, uh, we'll mostly try to work from formulas because, like I said to you, I'm lazy and I just don't like to do all this extra work when I could simply work out a formula. That's what we'll do actually in Part C. So now we have to, in Part B, plot the graph of Y against X. That's something else I'll mention. What does Y mean? Well, I don't know. You've got to go back and have a look at it. I always used to like to use letters that define or will remind you what this is about. So if y is about the cost, why not call um, you know, c equals the cost? And something like you know, n equals number of calls. Wouldn't that be easier to remember than trying to remember what's y and what's x? For some reason math teachers get caught up on x and y. Just give it a letter that uh, means something to you. Anyway, in this situation they haven't done that. so. We're stuck with X and Y, so we'll get rid of that so we don't confuse anybody. All right. 
so now we just take the uh, the graph of, of these values here and we put in um, uh, y equals my pen's gone all wonky um, y equals there so that's the cost this is wrongly done this graph can you see why because you always need to put units so the cost is in dollars it should say so and X that's the calls number of calls so you shouldn't you need to have that written on there so now we just take these values for no calls it's thirty dollars so there it is no calls thirty dollars so there's your first point on the graph the next point for ten comes up to thirty one dollars seventy five from here twenty thirty three point five dollars and so on right up to fifty calls here being thirty eight dollars seventy five so there's your your line and we could put a line through that um, and uh, that's it. there's our linear graph such a long way long-winded way to do it far better though is to find the rule what does that mean find a rule uh, well it just simply means what's the equation of this graph that's what that's talking about so what's the equation showing the cost between uh, connection between the cost that's y and the number of local calls x what's the comp what's the relationship between the two well, let's have a look at that we're saying that the cost y now it's linear so guess what it's going to be mx plus c is going to be the general form and we talked about this already so this is really easy if we remember what these mean what is m is not m just simply the gradient the rise over the run now we had that formula is what we were using do you remember the formula you usually use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 put an extra thingy in there get rid of it well yeah okay that's that's the right formula as we said but it's far easier just to think of it like that how far up did you go how far across did you go uh, do you go so starting from 30 going up here moving up how far and across how far well, we can see from the graph how far it was we went up from 30 to 38.5 so that was going up 8.75 and how far across did we go we went across 50 hey hang on a minute do we really have to do this do we have to calculate this isn't this what that is doesn't it go up for every one call doesn't it go up 17 cents or 0.175 dollars that's what's going on so the fact of the matter is that is the gradient 0.175 is the gradient now I'm not even going to bother to work that out because I know that that's the gradient because that's how far it's going up so if you realize that straight off that this here is the rate at which it increases 0.175 dollars for every cent it means it goes up 0.175 for every one across so that's your gradient saves me doing all this stuff here I didn't need to do that so there's my gradient 0.175 C hmm, what was that again do you remember the y-intercept so that number there is where what does it cut the y-axis which is at 30 so for C our answer is this y equals mx plus C well y the cost is equal to 0.175 x the number of calls plus 30 and in fact if you'd have done that straight off you wouldn't have had to do all this nonsense here and filling out a table of values you could have just seen straight off that that's now you try it out just get it your calculator you know put in 30 for x here calculate it out you'll find that you'll get that that answer works really well